Toy Soldiers, written and performed by Martika, was huge here in the States. In fact, it went all the way to number one during the summer of 1989. Despite its massive success, Toy Soldiers is a song that is often misinterpreted. Over the course of the next few minutes, we'll dig a little bit and discover the story behind this amazing song. Toy Soldiers wasn't just a hit here in the U.S. It was massive worldwide. It was so big, in fact, that it was the rare song that was recorded by the original artist into different languages, in this case both Spanish and Japanese. Back in the summer of 1989, magazine covers seemed to be dominated by two things. The first being the Tim Burton Batman movie, and this song was the other. Yep, Martika was everywhere, which had to be at least a little bit slightly overwhelming for an artist who had just released her debut album. But Toy Soldiers was that rare song that sounded like it had come from a more seasoned musician. Martika's vocals, as well as the exquisite musical arrangement that served as the sonic landscape for her heartfelt and haunting lyrics, well, they resonated with all of us, I think. The song itself isn't some sort of anti-war anthem, as one might expect from its title. Instead, it's about drug addiction. Martika wrote it about a friend who was battling an addiction to cocaine and toy soldiers. Well, they're a metaphor for those unfortunate folks who find themselves losing that battle. From what I understand, it's a song that almost didn't happen, as Martika was concerned about including a track with such a heavy topic. She expressed those concerns to the album's producer who encouraged her to continue to work on the song. The rest is, as they say, music history. I mentioned that Martika's debut album had a maturity that belied the age of the performer. This is perhaps because although Toy Soldiers came from her first album, Martika had been in the entertainment industry for years. In fact, it's quite likely that many of us caught our first glimpse of her on the TV show Kids Incorporated. For those that don't remember Kids Incorporated, this was a children's TV show that ran for a decade beginning in 1984. It started in syndication and ended up, I believe, on the Disney Channel. The plot centered around a group of kids who performed in their own rock group. Each episode, as you might expect, was filled with music, and Martika, known back then as Marta Marrero, played a character named Gloria. Anyway, she was great in the show, and her performances were always a highlight. Kids Incorporated is also the place that many of us first saw her co-stars Jennifer Love Hewitt and Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. In addition to these two lovely ladies, other stars to emerge from the show were Eric Balfour, Shanice Wilson, and, Saved by the Bells, Mario Lopez. Alright, confession time here. I've heard great things about Martika's follow-up album, Martika's Kitchen, in which she collaborated with Prince on four of the tracks. That said, I'd be hard-pressed to remember the names of any of the songs from that album, or for that matter, any of the other albums that Martika has released since then. I am absolutely sure that hardcore fans of Martika can point to a half dozen or more songs that I should know, songs that I've probably even heard a couple of times on the radio, perhaps. I mean, she's got a Greatest Hits album, for heaven's sake, so I'm sure that they are out there. That said, I think even they would agree that Toy Soldiers was Martika's pinnacle of success. The song is so well known that Mr. Marshall Mathers sampled from the chorus of this track on his song, Like Toy Soldiers. Of course, as you might expect with Eminem, the track veers off in a completely different direction and really has little to do with Martika's original lyrical focus. Fans of Martika can still see her perform today songs like Toy Soldiers and other hits as she is a frequent performer on those retro 80s concert tours that combine multiple performers on a single ticket, performing shorter sets comprised mostly of the hits. Having attended a couple of those concerts myself, I gotta say they're a lot of fun, but it's always a little sad to see a performer leave the stage after just 30 or 45 minutes of performing. So that's it. Did you love Martika's Toy Soldiers as much as I did? And did you immediately recognize that it was a song about drug addiction? Let me know in the comments section. While you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe even share it on Facebook or Twitter. 
And for heaven's sake, why not consider subscribing to my channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.